graph the equation negative 2x plus 5y equals 20. Again, I'm going to use a table of values to graph this equation. But when we have an equation in this form, it's a little tougher to find the values, good values to use. Now, I always, when we have an equation in this form, I will always choose to use a 0 for x and a 0 for y, and then I'm going to choose one other number. And I'm going to choose a number that's a multiple of the other variable because it makes the arithmetic easy. But let's figure those out first. Let's do the first two, and then we'll come back and do the, uh, do the third point. All right, so if x is 0, I would have negative 2 times 0 plus 5y is equal to 20. So that's 0 plus 5y is 20. And so that's 5y is 20. And so then dividing by 5, y equals 4. Now letting y equal 0. Negative 2x plus 5 times 0 is equal to 20. So negative 2x plus 0 is 20. Negative 2x equals 0, I'm sorry, equals 20. Dividing through by the negative 2, x equals negative 10. So I have two ordered pairs, and now I'm going to find another point. So how I generally do is I pick one of the variables, and then I substitute for the other one. So here's what I mean by that. So notice how this we have this negative 2x. What I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute a multiple substitute a multiple of 2 for y. It generally makes the arithmetic easy if you do that. So I'm going to substitute a multiple of 2 for y. I'm going to substitute, well, how about just negative 2? Now, how about, uh, no, let's just make it positive 2. I'm going to substitute 2 for y. So then that would give me negative 2x plus 5 times 2 is equal to 20. So then negative 2x plus 10 is 20. Subtracting 10 from both sides, negative 2x is equal to 10, and dividing through by negative 2, x is equal to negative 5. So now I have three ordered pairs. And let's check our three ordered pairs. 0, 4, well, let's make the assumption again. We have a scale of 1 on each axis. I have 0, 4. I have negative 10, 0. And I have negative 5, 2. Those three points do appear to be collinear, so I will draw the line passing through them. Let's consider another example. x minus 4y is equal to 6. So again, I'll start by creating the table and making the substitutions for 0 for x and 0 for y. And then we'll figure out a third number later on. Substituting 0 for x, I would have 0 minus 4y is equal to 6. So that's negative 4y is equal to 6. And dividing through by negative 4, y would equal, reducing the fraction, negative 3 halves. Now, negative 3 halves, a little trickier to work with here. It's a fraction, but that's OK. Negative 3 halves is the same as negative 1 and 1 half. Substituting 0 for y, x minus 4 times 0 is equal to 6, x minus 0 is equal to 6, x equals 6. 
All right, so I have two ordered pairs. Now I'm going to substitute a third. So I'm going to pick a value. In this case, I'll pick a value for, I see the coefficient here is 1. So I'm going to substitute any multiple of 1 here for x. Um, in fact, I could just use 1. Let y equal 1. So I'll let y equal 1. And so then I would have x minus 4 times 1 is equal to 6. x minus 4 is equal to 6. Adding 4 to both sides, x equals 10. All right, plotting the points. I have 0, negative 3 halves. 0, negative 1 and a half. I have 6, 0. And then I have 10, 1. So 10 would be about here, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Kind of got cut off here, but 10 would be about here. So 10, 1 should be there. Again, these three points appear to be collinear. So we'll draw the line through the points.